New at 5, we have new developments from a story you saw here first on WNCT. Last year, an accidental stove fire in her apartment sparked a battle between her and the management office of Craven Terrace. At one point, the housing complex issued an eviction notice for her family, but they won the appeal and now they're back home. Not on your side's Madison Forsey caught up with them to see what's next. Dinah Foskey and her kids are home today after months of uncertainty. And even though she's not being evicted from her apartment in Craven Terrace anymore, she says her fight for the people living here isn't over. After getting an eviction notice from the management company, Foskey says she had no choice but to try and appeal the eviction. She sat down with the property manager, a representative from Preservation Management, and a lawyer representing the property group. She told them the details of what happened back in October when her stove burst into flames after her daughter was done cooking. Cooking. The group reviewed the information and decided the best thing to do was to let her stay. But Foskey didn't just state her case. She also let the group know just how widespread mold and other maintenance issues are in this community. I was ready for my voice to be heard. I was ready for everyone out here who deals with the same problems voice to be heard through me. I was ready to advocate for everyone. Foskey says it feels good to be back home. She's also planning to run to be chairperson of Craven Terrace's community council. That way she can amplify every resident's voice. Foskey and other community advocates say there are still dozens of people that need things fixed inside their apartment and no one is listening. I'll have the next steps in their fight tomorrow at 5 and 6 right here on WNCT. For now in Newburn, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side.